Block Crash. This game mode has been existing in the game for more than 6 years. It went through all kind of metas, from pain guns, broken dark mage wand, cluster bomb weapons, rocket jumpers everywhere, consecutive bomb heavies that completely erased the map, to what we have today. And I spent a lot of my time back then on this mode grinding keys, because it's the most efficient way to do so. And during that time, it got me thinking, how would the heavies perform? If we could use them with modules? I got answers to that question more than a year ago, and I came here today to share them with you. In the past few weeks, I have been preparing for this video. Actually, I was late, meaning I upgraded all of my heavies to level 65, and that alone costed me 3,600 gems. Roughly, I still don't have few of heavies, but that shouldn't affect, right? Okay, some of you might be wondering, why would modules make a difference in block crash? First, you should know that there are two important factors that determine how many blocks or heavy would break, which they are the damage and the area of effect, AOE. Where some of the heavies have small AOE but deal a lot of damage, while others have huge O but less damage, some have both big O and high damage, and some are basically shit. No damage nor area of effect. Yeah I know some heavies have no AOE, but rather a projectile that damage blocks. They're not an issue for today's video. With modules both AOE and damage can be increased, using any elemental mod for damage, and shrapnel for area of effect. But, here comes another question, how I will use mods in block crash? Simply, I'll be using a glitch, a glitch that allows me to swap between modes in certain maps, so I'll be playing in the block crash map as if I was playing a deathmatch game, thus allowing me to use any weapon I want on block crash with modules even. I'm not gonna show the method of this glitch cause I don't really want it to spread all over the community, even though there are already a couple of tutorials on YouTube, explaining how this glitch is doable. Also, I just wanna say I don't abuse glitches and I condemn the exploitation of them. This is just an experiment, and devs, please don't ban me. I forgot to mention that this glitch doesn't allow me to use forbidden weapons in this mode, so unfortunately, we won't ever know how they perform in block crash with mods, unless a better glitch is discovered. One last thing, for weapons that have enemy penetration, we can collide their projectiles towards a wall, because the blocks don't trigger the splash damage. Alright, due to the sheer amount of heavies we have in game, I'll demonstrate the test through a montage edit, so, enjoy you. Yes you, you like what you see? Well, I put a lot of effort and time into these videos, and I don't get payback in return. So, if you enjoy my content, make sure to like, subscribe and share. Okay, I'll shut up now, enjoy.
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry again for my terrible uploading schedule. Thank you for 600 thank subs. You. And thank you for watching. See ya. Man, it doesn't oh matter she's 15, I'm like a young girl, I'm like a 15, 14, 16, I'm like a real year.